Hello and welcome! My name is Heather, I'm a registered professional counselor, and today I'm going to be watching Love is Blind Japan Season 1. There were a lot of couples that got engaged this season, and there were also a lot of breakups. So I'm going to use my knowledge and experience as a relationship and breakup counselor to talk about some of the pitfalls in the relationships that led to the breakup, and also some of the things that actually made the relationship work that led to the marriage. So let's dive in. Also, I do apologize if I pronounce any of the names incorrectly. I'm going to do my best to try to pronounce them the proper way. Let's talk about Yudai and Nana. So we see them in the pods. They're definitely getting along and Nana is asking Yudai a lot of important questions about his thoughts around marriage and having children. Mm. Mm -hmm. She was really happy with his answer and I think ultimately that allowed her to feel comfortable with saying yes to his proposal. After getting engaged, she brought up the topic again around having children and when she wanted to start a family and Yudai wasn't ready. He felt a lot of pressure and he thought that it was too soon for him. Now I'm sure this caused a lot of confusion for Nana because in the pods, Yudai said that he was fine with whatever timeline that she wanted and all of a sudden he's starting to get a little hesitant. Now he did mention that he felt a lot of responsibility and a lot of pressure in terms of having to get married and then having a family. <laughs> And I think because when he was in the pods, he didn't realize the weight of his words and also just what a big commitment all of this actually was. So they had a couple discussions when they were on vacation and it seemed that they couldn't get on the same page and that it was clear that they wanted different things. And so that's what ultimately led to them breaking up. In relationships, it's important to know what your deal breakers are and what your non-negotiables are. And for Nana, having kids right away was a huge factor in terms of whether or not she was going to continue with the relationship. And after finding out that Yudai has changed his mind and he's feeling hesitant, he no longer feels that this is the relationship for him, ultimately it didn't make sense for them to continue that relationship, especially if they wanted completely different things in the future. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support my channel. It's possible that because of his young age, he didn't really think about the level of commitment it would take to get married and to start a family in three years. And after some time and after meeting her, he started thinking and realizing, oh wow, this is actually quite serious. And he changed his mind and he realized that he's actually not ready for that. <laughs> So it's okay if people change their mind. People change their minds all the time. What's important is being open and honest about it with yourself and also with your partner. So you're not lying to them, you're not lying to yourself, you're not dragging them on or dragging the relationship on when you know it's not really going anywhere. So I'm glad that they did have this conversation and as painful and as hurtful as it might be, it's ultimately the best because they want different things and it wouldn't be fair if Yudai stayed in the relationship because he made a promise to her in the pods. It's not going to be fair to him, it's not going to be fair to her, and it's not going to be fair to the future kids that they may have in two years. So it's important to know when it's time to have those important conversations and also recognizing fundamentally when the relationship is no longer working. And it doesn't mean that the love is there. it doesn't mean that he was lying to her or he was fooling her or anything like that. It just means that with time, they realized that they wanted different things and they realized that they're better off not being a couple, so they have that opportunity to find someone else that wants the same things as them. And now they can move forward without having any regrets. Which couple were you rooting for? Let me know in the comments below. Let's talk about Odachi and Ninako. When they got engaged in the pods, I was so excited because he was just so lively, he was making jokes, he was always laughing, and he was also able to have serious conversations. Uh, 
And it seemed like they were getting along, they were both able to be vulnerable with each other and also show that emotional support. When they left the pods and went on vacation together, his personality completely changed. I was actually quite surprised to see that he wasn't engaging in any conversations with her. He was mostly on his laptop. <laughs> For example, when they went to the glass blowing activity and Odachi didn't even participate, he didn't talk to her, he just kind of sat there by himself, he looked bored or uninterested, and Nanako was having a great time, she was laughing, and it was just such a contrast between his level of energy in the pods and his level of energy in real life. And so I can understand why Nanako could feel confused or feel that there's a sense of rejection there. <laughs> So why did his personality change? It's possible that maybe he is more of an introvert and she's more of an extrovert. It's possible that when he's meeting new people for the first time or when he's in a group, he has on this persona or this mask that allows him to be the life of the party and the comedian and maybe for him it is a role that he has to play or he feels he has to play and when he doesn't have that audience, when it's just him and maybe if it's someone that he's comfortable with, he kind of goes into this introvert mode where he's more quiet, more kept to himself. Now the other possibility is that maybe he's having a really hard time adjusting to the relationship and being able to see her in person. There is a transition from going to the pods to being able to see the person and being with them all day every day. Maybe he's got other things going on as well with his work that's stressing him out and that's why he always needs to be on his laptop but if that's the case he should definitely communicate that. <laughs> And because his personality changed so drastically, it's hard to get to know the real him and it's hard to really gauge who you're in a relationship with. I think it triggered something in her. Just seeing how quiet and reserved and kept to himself Odachi is, it brought up a lot of these triggers that she hasn't really healed from or worked through and she actually started to shut down and started to distance herself from the relationship even more. One of the important thing that she mentions is that she felt that there was a lack of respect, especially when he was just ignoring her, he was busy and occupied on his laptop and he wasn't even acknowledging her. She felt that disrespect because he didn't realize how rude it was. And I think that is the real reason as to why she was emotionally distancing herself from him. And why she just didn't want to give him another chance, why she called it quits. When you're in a relationship, there needs to be mutual respect between you and your partner. He didn't realize that it was a problem, he thought it was fine, and didn't know that it bothered her that much, or that it bothered her at all. And the more that it happened, the more it festered within herself, and the more she didn't want to communicate it to him. And we need to remember that our partners can't read our minds. <laughs> She definitely could have communicated with him as soon as it happened when she noticed that he was on the laptop and just let him know like, hey, like I would really like if we're able to spend some time together. Also, she could have initiated some of the conversations as well. And after feeling extremely distant from her fiance, she confronted him and told him that she couldn't continue on with their engagement. Mm. 
and you can see that Orochi was extremely regretful and he clearly did not realize the impact his actions had on her. And despite his suggestions around having another discussion in the morning, she already made up her mind and she fears that the relationship will turn out like her last marriage. <laughs> And due to her past relational traumas, we see that her way of coping with that or dealing with the triggers is to close herself off, to remove herself from the situation because she is making the assumption that nothing's going to change. And she just ends the relationship there without any discussion or any chances of working on the relationship or allowing him to make those changes or rise to the occasion, she just automatically rides him off and assumes that it's just going to be more of the same. So her actions and her just ending the relationship and removing herself is definitely coming from a place of fear. It's definitely relational trauma based and it's essentially a way of her trying to protect herself, right? Because she doesn't want to get hurt again. Now, should have he have been more attentive? Absolutely, yes. He should have realized that since they were on vacation, it's still the honeymoon phase, that they should have been spending more time bonding and communicating. <laughs> But if you don't tell your partner what's going on, how you're thinking, how you're feeling, or make requests, you can't see if they're able to rise to the occasion and make those changes. And since she already emotionally removed herself from the relationship and didn't have that level of communication, he's going to have to live with that regret forever. <laughs> I feel like this could have been something if there was some communication and if there was opportunity to work and fix whatever needs to be fixed and to see if that was able to kind of go further past this point. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more analysis videos like this. Feel free to check out my other therapist reviews videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, be kind and love yourself.